Hello on YouTube, in this tutorial I just want to talk about the expand function and similar to kind of what its name implies, it allows you to expand an array to be whatever size that you want it to be. So here we have some sales data for 12 different dates and corresponding sales for every day. Now, let's just say we wanted to expand this data to have one more column on the right, right here. To do this, we can use the expand function, so equals expand, over parentheses. The first argument is the array that we want to expand, which is this right here. And then comma, the next argument is rows. And one thing to note is that the number of rows has to be at least as many rows as you have in your data. So let's just say we, we have 13 rows right here. We want to add one row on the bottom. We can type 14. So I do with columns. And the, the number of columns I want to expand the data to. Now, it has to be at least as many columns as we have in our data. So here we have two columns selected. Let's say we want to expand it to one more column on the right. We type in three. The last argument is padwidth, and I'm going to show you that in a second after I do close parentheses and enter. As you can see, it expanded my data. Do one more row on the bottom and one more column on the right. Well, what if we, well, as you can see, though, it expands to beyond what we have data for, right? So, which, well, we can use the last argument to fill in the and A's with whatever we want, like a blank space, for example. As you can see, what the data is expanded to has just blanks instead of the end A's. Now if we wanted to only add one column to the right instead of one to the row on the bottom, we change a 14 to 13, only have one column on the right. And this is very helpful because for one, you can make your data more uniform. So if you have a bunch of different arrays that you're trying to work with that are different shapes and sizes, you, you can use the expand function to make your data small arrays a bit more uniform. Also, if you're working on something, you can make kind of reserve this space to an extent. So let's just say I type in one right here. As you can see, it turns into a spill function error, even though it's, there's no data in the array, because the expand function spills the function to be bigger than what we have. So I'm kind of reserving that space in an essence, and I will be able to quickly and easily know if I have used the space when I might not have wanted to. Um, you can also use this if you're trying to quickly label data. So let's say you wanted to quickly say that the data is good data. As you can see, it quickly fills in the blank spaces with the with the label good data, and we now know that this is good data. Hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.